dean of admissions, Jim McMenamin, admitted me in 1983, and I just came to campus, and I just loved it from the beginning. It's always been the people since I was a student, and then a coach many, many years ago, and when I came back, I think that uh, there's, a, there's also a certain grittiness and toughness here at Columbia where um, people really challenge you, the professors, coaches, administrators, really challenge you to, to be the uh, best you can be. And for me, it was always a place where things I never even thought were possible became possible after I was around in, in this environment and around these types of people. Jessica DiPaolo, Tommy Sheehan, Jackie Blackett, people who really, really care about their well-being. I had such a good experience here in the, in the 80s, uh, playing for bid, and it, it just always felt like a, a family here, specifically on the tennis court at Columbia and then the opportunity to come back and to potentially affect young people's lives in a positive way and, and somehow maybe impart some of the experiences that I had had when I left. That when, when Bid gave me the opportunity to come back and work with him in 2010, I was like, I, I, I gotta do it. Coach Bid and I always stayed close. I was, I was this, first recruit. We have um, the same goals and aspirations for the program, but I think we go about it in different ways. So there's always this kind of tricky balance of, you know, you got to try to um, help each player become, become the best, as close to their potential as possible. Different players have kind of um, gravitated to, to Coach Bid or I um, along the way, but we've always kind of come together as a team, and I, I think uh, you know he and I have been a pretty good team together. In 2014, we were able to recruit uh, some of the best guys who ended up being some of the best players: Winston Lynn, Ashok Narayana. Vancouver, Schnurr, those guys. Bid calls them the greatest generation. At that time, they hadn't even won one Ivy League title. So going into junior year, I, I think these guys and also the coaches started to feel some pressure. Hey, you know, we're we're doing pretty well, but we still don't even have don't even have a title. You know, I I, I remember when we came in, you know, in, to be to be top 25 was even was even like, no, that's, that's not possible. Uh, so when those guys broke through to not only win the Ivy League championship in 2014, but then also to beat Vanderbilt at, in Nashville during final exams to make the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament, um, that was a really special moment. I'd also like to thank Philip Milstein, who f from my freshman year, he, he's, been, he's been supporting me since I'm 18 years old. And now we look back all these years later and his support is, is even stronger. Uh, he's one of the most wonderful people I've ever met in the world. We're trying to continue to develop a culture and environment where the players are uh, both simultaneously supported and challenged and given the opportunity to be the absolute best they can be. You, you can't really control the outcomes a lot of the time, but what you can potentially control is these players 10 or 15 or 20 years from now looking back and saying, my life is better because I was a Columbia tennis player.